Hello. Hi, hi. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi, Jose. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Elmer, Walter. And I have Contreras. Who's Contreras? Cecilia. Celina. No. Yo, teacher. Ah, Carlos, ya me tiene adivinando. Dios mío, ¿qué me le había pasado? Ay, teacher, este COVID me tiene. En cuarentenado. Este home office es más tremendo. Me imagino. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, so welcome. This is the last class. And Elmer, hello. This is the, the, last, last, class. the last class, Hi, Anna, from uh, pre-advanced module one. So the next one, make sure that you won't make any mistakes, is pre-advanced module two. All right? So uh, make sure that you guys received the information so you can fill it in. Did you receive the information from Inglés Corporativo? Yes. Teacher. Yes? Yes. yes. Y eso se puede llenar a, a mano. Esa cosa no me va a editable, fíjense. Que de hecho no puedo, no puedo instalarlo. Ah, de veras. No puedo instalar en mi máquina. Uh -huh. En mi máquina no lo puedo instalar, pues, porque no me dan acceso a instalar cosas. Ah, Entonces, okay. tendría que bajarlo y hacerlo manuscrito. Es posible, ¿no? Sabe? Y luego lo puede escanear. Sí, claro, obviamente. Ajá, sí, sí, sí. Yo creo que, por, o sea... Creo que esa opción que mandaron ahora era para los compañeros que no pueden imprimirlo y escanearlo. Mm, uh -huh. Entonces, en el caso sí, suyo, pero... yo creo que sí lo puede bajar, llenarlo a manito y luego uh -huh. escanearlo. Y Gran no trabajar, vea. <risa> Gran trabajar nos han mandado porque en, en la empresa solo les decía, mire, mándenme esa vaina y ya lo mandaron. Claro, pues sí, hoy, hoy es como uh -huh. que... Pues sí, esa es, esa es la forma ahorita, pero lo bueno es que podemos seguir el mercito. Si no hubiéramos tenido que suspender hasta quién sabe cuándo, hasta... que se terminara todo el COVID-19. Así es. Eso sí, verdad. Pero bueno, pero llénelo el mero, oye, no se va a quedar. No, y lo voy a llenar mañana, teacher. Ahí, vale. manito, aunque sea. ¿Tienen hasta cuándo tienen para llenarlo, compañeros? El 8, dijeron. ¿eh? El 8, ¿verdad? Ok. El 8 okay. de abril. Uh -huh. Ok, si en dado caso tienen algún inconveniente o algo, eh, comuníquese con los compañeros de, de la logística, ¿verdad? Para que ellos le puedan ayudar y solventar cualquier duda que ustedes tengan al respecto para que no se queden afuera del, del proceso. Recuerde también que para poder seguir necesita haber completado la plataforma, ¿verdad? No solo llenar ese formulario y de ese por entendido que ya usted está... Eh, inscrito en el otro módulo, sino que también tiene que terminar la plataforma. Acuérdese que es un 80% o obviamente más, ¿verdad? Yo sé que Elmer ya se imprimió su diploma. ¿Alguien más que haya terminado toda la plataforma? Para que ya terminó también. No, José. No, teacher, me ¿Qué falta... le pasó? ¿Qué uh, uh, uh. si usted iba me, a falta el ex... me falta el examen final, me da miedo dejarlo. Okay. <risa> All right. Okay. Y um, los demás cómo ¿Cuándo van? El, Ajá. ¿Cuándo cuándo es el último día, teacher, de terminar la plataforma? Mañana. Uh, hasta las 12. <risa> de hecho, ahora vamos a hacer el examen final juntos, José, para que no le dé miedo dejarlo, oiga. Ah, sí. Excelente. Right, listo, right. listo para copiar. Ajá. Ya ve. <risa> Por eso no lo había hecho, ya sabía. Yo, yo, sí, claro, estaba esperando este momento. Very good. Selina, ¿cómo va usted? Ana, Mary, necesito reportes de todas y todos. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? No, teacher, yo no he podido avanzar. Es que me tienen con unos planos que los necesitan para mañana. No, no he podido, de, de verdad, que no he podido. He trabajado más que como si estuviera en el trabajo. Ana, ¿y por qué sección va Ana? 
eh, por la 4, 4.6, ah, bueno, okay. algo así. Ah, ok, Ajá. ok, ok, very good. ¿Y Selina en su caso? Yo voy por la 5.5. Ah, ok, all right, very good. Mary, Viera, ¿y usted por cuál va? Yo voy por la, terminando la 3, creo. Ok, ok, hay que meterle un poquito ahí. Eh, Walter, ¿cómo va usted, Walter? Walter, Walter. Rocío, Elizabeth, ¿cómo van? José Ramos, ¿cómo va? Yo en la 5. En la 5 va, Rocío. Ok. Empezando. Empezando la 5. Ok, very good. Ok, José Ramos, sí. en su caso, en, en, ¿por dónde va en la plataforma? Y Elizabeth del Carmen, ¿por dónde va en la plataforma? En my case, número 4. Number 4.7, Elizabeth. Ok, all right. In my uh, case, teacher, uh -huh. don't teach. Don't. Ah, okay. uh, José Ramos, you're finished. Yes, I already finished. Oh, very good. Ok, nice. Thank you. Very good. El mercito de José Ramos are finished. Nice. ¿Alguien me va a decir otra cosa? Dijeron teacher por ahí. No. Only... Uh, I get 56%. When? Where? No. Eh, in the... En la gráfica. Okay. But that's because you haven't finished everything. Once you finish, it's going to go up, okay? Walter, what a voice. Yes. Hi, Walter. ¿Cómo va la plataforma? Uh -huh. En el examen final, solamente en, en el literal B, solamente en el trabajo, teacher. Ah, vale. ¿Solo eso le falta, Waltercito? Sí, solamente. Excellent. Wow, guys. Y las niñas se me han quedado atrás. ¿Qué pasó? No puede <laughs> ser. <laughs> That's okay. All right, guys. Very good. Let's begin then. Well, we're going to go. Si tiene... Eh, su computadora o donde usted real, desde donde usted realice la plataforma sería genial para que eh, lo pueda ir haciendo acá conmigo. Excelente. Excelente. All right. <laughs> A ver, veamos. Eh, I'm going to share my, 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 my platform. This is the final exam. All right. Uh, the listening part. Yes. So, póngase ahí, si en caso you're not able to get in right now on the platform, have a pencil and a pen ready so you can take notes y después solo lo pasa, all right? De todas maneras, igual lo trabajamos juntos acá. All right, I'm gonna... Um, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna play the... Um, the audio right now so you guys can listen to it and then together we can solve the questions okay so let me know if you can hear hold on guys okay very good unit three to four quiz Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hello? Hello, Karen. This is Manuel from downstairs. Oh, hi, Manuel. What's up? Well, I'm having a party tomorrow night, and I'd like you to come. Oh, I'd love to, but I already have theater tickets. Uh... Would it be okay, then, if I borrowed your CD player for the party? Mine's broken. You'll be careful with it? It's new, you know. Sure. Don't worry. I'll take special care of it. Okay. I'll bring it down tomorrow morning. Great. Thanks, Karen. Bye. All right. So what would be the answer for that, guys? Bring CD to her bring party? CDs. Or go to the theater with party. her? Yes. Or borrow her CD player? Borrow her CD player. Borrow yeah, very good. So Manuel called Karen and wants to borrow her CD player. It would be here. All right, very good. So let's go on. We're going to listen to the other audio for number two. Two. Hello? 
Hello? Is this Mikio? This is Jeff. Sorry, Mikio isn't here right now. Could you call back later tonight, say, after 7? Well, uh, do you mind giving him a message? Not at all. It's Jeff. Jeff Jackson. We're going to play basketball tomorrow afternoon. Could you ask Mikio what time I should pick him up? No problem. I'll tell him to call you tonight. All right. So what Three. is for that one, guys? It says, Jeff asks the men to leave this message for Mikio. What's the message? Could you call back later tonight after 7? Could you ask Mikio what time I should pick him up tomorrow afternoon? Or could you tell Mikio we're playing basketball? Which one is it? Number two. Huh? Could you Number ask two? Mikio what time? Yes. Excellent. All right. So could you ask Mikio what time I should pick him up tomorrow Alright, so here we have uh, for number three. While the couple was walking to the mailbox, something happened. A thief stopped them, a thief took their money, or they called the police. Eli, Eli, tal vez puede poner su micrófono en silencio, Eli, por favor, un ratito, en lo que oímos. Okay, thank you. Hey, Brian, did you hear? This couple was walking to the mailbox on the corner when a thief stopped them. You're kidding. No, it was terrible. They didn't have any money, so the thief was going to make them go to a cash machine. But then a police car drove by. What happened? Did he get arrested? They said the robber got scared when he saw the police, and he ran down the street and around the corner. So he escaped? Unfortunately, he did. All right. Four. So what happened when to, uh, while the couple was walking to the mailbox, what happened to them? A, let's see, A, B, or C, which one? Or one, two, three, which one is it? If you have the answer, you can unmute yourself. A thief stopped them. Okay, so would it, be, it would be number one? Yes? Yes. Everybody agrees yes. with that? Okay, very good. A thief yes. stopped them. Very good. We're going to do number... Hi, Noe. All right, number four. At the beach, I, uh, Yvonne or Ivan learned to be more careful about locking her car door. Asked her mom to lock the glove compartment or forgot her lunch and wallet in the trunk of the car. So let's listen to number four. Well, how was the beach today, Yvonne? Great. There was just one little problem. Oh, what was that? Well, after I parked the car, we got our lunch out of the trunk and carried everything down to the beach. And about an hour later, I realized that I had forgotten to lock the car. Oh, no. Was anything stolen? Well, I had taken the keys with me, but I had locked my wallet in the glove compartment like I usually do whenever I go swimming. Wow. You've learned a good lesson, haven't you? Uh-huh. Remember to lock the car. All right. So what do you think the answer for number four is? The first one. The first one? Learn to be more careful about locking her car door. Everybody yes. agrees with that, yeah? Yes. Okay, let's try that then. All right, so we're going to submit it and let's see if we have it right or not. All right, guys, so if you take a look, we have all the right answers here. So if you have the platform open, then you can like be doing it while we're doing it. And in case you don't, then just copy the answer so you can do it later, all right? So for number one is the third answer, for number two is the second answer, for number three is the first answer, and for number four, it's also the first answer, okay? So that would be like for the first part of your uh, final exam. We're gonna go on now with part B. It says requests, okay? So the instructions are write requests using the information given. So, you say you want your friend to lend you 
Okay, sorry, I was, I was, uh, you have to rewrite them, all right? You want your friend to lend you her laptop for the weekend, could I, all right? So what, how, how would it be? Elmer, can you try to do this one for us? Hi, teacher. Hi, can you do number one for us, Elmer? Yes, I, the number one, let mm -hmm. me see. Okay. Eh, Permítame, teacher, que todavía te los comparto o, o, o cómo hacemos. If you want to. Ok. Se los comparto. You can share, you can, you can share this screen, uh, Elmer. Ah, ok. Este es cuál, ¿Cuál es esta que estamos viendo? Letter B, my friend, Elmercito. You're Letter B. <laughs> <laughs> Letter B es... Could I, uh huh? Uh huh. Could I borrow your laptop for the for weekend. the weekend? Okay. Uh huh. Borrow. So could I borrow your laptop, laptop for the weekend? For the weekend. Oops. Uh huh. And you need a question mark at the end, Elmer, or not? Um. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. for number one, guys, it would be, could I borrow your laptop for the weekend? All right. Number two, let's see. Uh, your classmate has a cell phone. You want to use it. Would it be okay if, uh, Jose Ramos, can you do number two? Jose Ramos? Uh and I'm using the cell phone. I don't know if I can edit on it, but I think it's, it would be okay. Would it be okay if, uh-huh. I use your cell phone. All right. Elmer, you, you wrote everything like this again, or just the, the thing that is missing? I use your cell phone uh, with a uh, question mark at the end. Would it be okay if I use, right? I use your, uh, your yes. Phone. Like that? Let me see. Would it be Let's okay if, uh-huh. I use your cell phone, yes. So, but you have to type no, everything in only, only I use, I use, uh, I use, uh, let me see. Uh, can I uh, share yeah, my? Yeah, share, my... yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna stop sharing mine so you can share yours so everybody can see it. Hi, Adriana, hi, Norma. Ah, mira, hoy tenemos casa llena. Qué emoción. ¿Cómo va a dar la respuesta, niña? I use. Ok. Can, can, can you see my screen? Yep, we can see your screen. So you only have use... to type, Elmer, you only have to type your, uh, the rest of the uh, question, right? You don't have to type everything. No. No, only, only, only that. Only what is missing, I, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So that's, uh, that would be the answer for that one. All right. So uh, would it be okay if I use your cell phone? And for number three, it says you want to borrow a stranger's newspaper when he's finished reading it. I was wondering, I was wondering if you would mind lending me your newspaper me your newspaper yeah only uh yes only only we, we, a newspaper yes, yes. Le lending, lending lending me me your newspaper your newspaper okay. yeah right mm -hmm. okay all right so again if you hold on Elmer. wait Elmercito. if you have your um platform open just type it in and if you don't then just copy it all right or just write it on your notebook and then you may do it on your computer when you're ready teacher yes walter the, the first one i asked um write exactly the the uh, you said but um, doesn't accept me. did you did you type in the question mark walter yes with the question what? mark Yes. What question? Number one. Number one. Uh -huh. borrow, borrow, borrow your laptop for the weekend. 
adjust with, with spine without, uh, without question mark. Ah, okay. Without question mark. Without yeah. the question mark and a period, Elmer? With yes, uh, without the question mark. Only that. Uh -huh. With but point. Period. Only point. Yeah. Just period. Uh -huh. Period. Uh -huh. Okay. Y en la segunda si lo si ocupó el question mark. Yes. Oh, espérese que el primero yo puse question mark. With, without period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Without period. Yeah. And the last one, Elmer, without period and question mark either. And the last one. With nothing. Without nothing. <laughs> yeah. A la madre. No hay nada de eso. Uh, ok, pero sabe que vamos a hacer una... adivinando. Ajá. Dejo de compartir. Eh, tu, 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 tu. A ver, no, él me siga compartiendo. A Give me a second, compañeros, please. Y yo necesito hacer una... Second, I use your cell phone with uh, question mark. Sí. Hola, Walter, yo ah. le escucho. Ahorita no sé si me ven, pero yo sí le escucho. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Es que lo que pasa es que en unas acepta el question mark y en otras no. Sí, sí Ajá, ahorita. así es. Por ejemplo, en la segunda sí acepta el question mark. El mercito, y usted ya lo hizo todo, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero fíjese que bien raro porque debería... Uh, A ver. Espérame ahí. The first question, borro. Borro your laptop for the weekend. For the weekend. Period. 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 Next. Wait, 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 wait. El mercito, please. Ya, yeah, espérame, deme un segundito, deme un segundito. How do you say demi un segundito in English, Elmer? Give me a second, please. Oh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> one, sec one second, please. A ver. Okay. Como es la última? Lending me your newspaper. Lending me your uh -huh. newspaper. Uh -huh. eh, ahorita, eh, punto no, y sin. Uh. Oh, eh, guys, solo un, una. Eh, ahorita ya pueden ponerlo o con punto o sin punto o con question mark. Y los tres les va a agarrar bien la respuesta. ¿Me entendieron? Ah, ok. Yes. En teoría, pero realmente. Before class, no, I, no me agarra. Ajá, porque yo lo probé. Ahorita lo acabo de cambiar, entonces refresque su página para que le pueda agarrar, ya sea con punto, sin punto o con question mark. Las tres opciones son válidas, aunque en este caso el, el question mark ya está dado por ustedes al final, en teoría. Entonces ahorita ya pueden hacer las tres opciones y le tendría que salir cualquiera correcta. Okay. Para que no se estén ahí dando duro si le pongo punto, le, se lo quito o le pongo el question mark, ¿ya? Ok, ¿gore? Okay. Dele. Excelente, ok. Dele. Necesito letter C, Elmer. Perdón, letter pero C. a mí la última, no, no sé por qué no me la agarra, teacher. ¿Quién me está hablando? Celina. Lending me your newspaper. Tal cual la tienen en pantalla. No se le ha ido a Lending me. Voy a revisar. The newspaper. Voy a escribirla. Ajá. Y avíseme. Ok. Elmer, sigamos si gusta con las letters. Ahí está. Thank you. How do you say it in nada? You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> Yo no iba a decir eso, pero está bien. ¿Qué iba a decir? No sé, es lo que siempre me calla. 
Beautiful. All right, veamos. Number one. ¿Cuál era la instrucción, Elmer? Can you put it up, please, so we can see it? Thank you. It says correct. Check the correct press. Request, all right? Podría hacerlo más grande. Elmer, si todo. Oh, Elmer. Puede hacerlo un poquito más grande. Elmer is an assistant, no, eh. Thank you. Y por qué no intentamos hacerlo y después vemos la respuesta. Porque no vamos a terminar y si lo, no lo terminan mañana, eh, nos van a cobrar. Pero el objetivo pues, no es copiar. Bueno, no copie. All right, a ver, si gusta, Elmer, si gusta, eh, resolvámoslo así rapidito y después me, nos comparte usted. Ah, ok. Aprovechando que usted lo terminó. Uh -huh. A ver, don't worry, el mercito. Vamos a ver aquí, aquí estamos. All right, sí, vamos en esta. Let's see, uh, Jennifer, uh, could you tell Matt that Aiko can come to class tomorrow? Or could you tell Matt that Aiko come to class tomorrow? What would be the answer, Jennifer? Uh, that Aiko uh, can come to class tomorrow. Okay, so for, it would be number one for you. This one, Jennifer. Number one. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. Anna, can you do number two? Can you ask David? Can you ask David if he wants us to together tonight? Or can you ask David whether or not he wants to study together tonight? I want to study together tonight. Whether or not he wants to study to, together tonight. All right, very good, thank you. And then the last one, Mary, can you do number three? Can you tell Harriet? Don't let her say or uh, not Can to you tell mm -hmm. Harriet not to be late for class on Monday? All right, very good, okay. So let's check it here. Let's submit the answers and let's see if we have it correct. All right, so that's how it should be, guys, all right? So that's how it should be, all right? So let's go okay. on with uh, the next one, that is letter D, complete the story. And it says simple past, the past continues or the past perfect, okay? So at their wedding, the bride and groom get into a terrible argument. What would it be? Anybody? Jose Rodriguez? God. God? Okay, so let's write God here. God. Uh, okay, very good. The bride's father had just moved aside when the groom stepped on the bride's beautiful dress. Uh huh. What would be the answer? The bride's father. Yep. Has... Simple past? Simple past, yes. Stop. Like this? Stop. Step. Like that? Step. Step. Stepped. <laughs> we was the spelling of a step. Stop it. A step. A step. A spell step for me, guys. I have a, a lapsus right now. <laughs> ED, right? Yes. But it got double, double, yeah. double P, right? But it keeps on getting. Oh, okay, fine. Number two, while I, Hanoi, while I played tennis yesterday afternoon, I realized that I had forgotten something. Player. Playing. Are you sure? Player. I was, I was playing. Excellent. While I was playing uh -huh, tennis yesterday afternoon, I realized that I had forgotten something. Okay. Oh, okay, then it says, uh, Norma, can you continue with the other one? I couldn't call my wife. I didn't put, I didn't put, I didn't put my cell phone. I have not put. I didn't put or I had not put, guys? Had not put. Had not put. 
haven't put haven't had had not or let's see if, if we have to contract it or not all right so let's check the answers right now all right so had not put and was plain so for number one is god for now for that is a stepped for number two was plain and for the last answer had not put okay we are okay with those answers guys yes yes, yes. yeah okay then we have letter e well hold on just give me a second here okay for letter e we have read the story story number one uh rocio can you read number one please um okay. story number one one day a statue a statue statue, statue of a gun this disappeared disappeared of an elderly couple in florida among letter in the mail, they received a they photo. Received, received mm -hmm. a photo of the gum. Mm -hmm. I guess you? so. I guess it's gnome. Uh -huh. In from in Buckingham Palace in London for five years, they received photo of their their statue. Uh -huh. In many famous, famous? places around the world. Uh -huh. They finally got the the gnome back, but never found out who took who took it, it. took it or why. Or why? All right. Okay. So, what could be the title for the story number one? Uh, Jose Ramos, what do you mm -hmm. think the story is? What a coincidence, is it still a mystery or a silly predicament? predicament. Uh, let me see. Um, let me see. I think it's a, it's a still mystery. Is it still a mystery? All right, we're gonna check that one right now and we're gonna keep on reading. Uh, let's see, Rocio, can you read number two? Yes, um, story number two. Joe was living the good life. In the 1990s, he was president of a software, software company uh -huh. on a jet. Yeah. And was making a lot of money in the stock market. Yeah. Then his lucky changes Change. changed. And the jet. Okay, with the stock Change. market. Yeah, he lost everything. Uh -huh. His business, his savings, and the jet. Oh my goodness, he lost everything. All right, so what is number two? We hold on, wait, 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 I changed this answer. What would be I number two, you, guys? What, what could be the title for this one? What a coincidence, emergency, or what a terrible misfortune? The last what a terrible misfortune. All right, let's try that one. And then we have Elizabeth, can you read number three, please? Elizabeth del Carmen. Okay, teacher. Uh, number two, story three. Uh -huh. Once on a day, many and his family decided to go to the beach around noon. It is started getting cloudy. Then, then it started. It and started thundering and thundering. raining. Thundering and raining. Uh huh. Hard. Thundering and raining. Hard. Mary got his family softly back to the car, but the engine, the engine, uh -huh. start, the engine wouldn't, wouldn't start. start. He, he used his cell phone to call 911, 911. But, the, 
Nay, okay. But the but tow truck. We, we but, but the, the tow truck, truck uh -huh. the tow truck wouldn't have them because the road were flooded. 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 All right. Okay. But it's so flooded, what? Teacher. Inundada. Uh, All right. Thank yes. You. What could be the the title for the story number three, guys? Emergency. 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 All right, let's see. Uh, what a coincidence, emergency, emergency, a silly predicament. Emergency, for you, spread this one? Yes, emergency. Yes, emergency. All right. Let's see. All right. So uh, that's pretty much, I think that's it with the test, right? Yeah. Is there any other, uh, that, that's, that we finished the test, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so uh, the idea, guys, is for us to take this time to do it together, okay? Sometimes when we, in this case, it was easier to solve it because we didn't really have to type many things. But sometimes when we have to type a lot, then that's why we can share if someone is already done. Do you have any other questions from any other from the platform that you haven't done yet? This is for anybody. Any other exercise that you want us to help you uh, before we finish today? Or you guys are okay with the, everything else? I think pretty much everybody's finished number one, number two, and number three. Some of you are still in number four, and a couple of you are already number five. And I, I know that there are two students that already finished everything. Do you need help with anything else, guys? Yes, teacher, I have a problem uh -huh. with the part in the middle term, in the part F. F. Part F? Yes. All right, let's go see it, Adi. Just give me a second here. We're going to get out of here right now. Hold on, Adri. All right, what which part did you tell me, Adri? F? F on the reading. Yes. Okay. Ups and downs of being a pilot. Yes. Okay, which question uh, for all of these questions, um, Adri? Yes, I I select the the one. correct answer, but I don't know. You know I what? I'm, I'm, my opinion one, is the correct answer, two. but <laughs> but it wasn't correct. Correct. Okay, let's yes. see. I'm gonna read it to you so we can solve it together. Okay, so the ups and downs of being mm -hmm. a pilot. Have you ever thought about being an airline pilot? Being a pilot is challenging and exciting. However, some aspects of a pilot's job can be boring and pilots often have inconvenient hours. A pilot's work begins long before the plane takes off, two or three hours before a flight. The pilot and the flight dispatcher meet. They plan the exact route who the, uh, the aircraft will take using information about weather, number of passengers, and cargo. The pilot also helps check the plane for technical or mechanical problems. Pilots often say that the worst thing about flying is sitting in the cockpit. It is very cramped. Once the plane is in the air, the pilot usually puts the controls on autopilot and on a very long flight, a pilot may take a break for a few hours leaving the co-pilot to fly the aircraft. A pilot must be intelligent, calm under pressure, and in excellent health. The life of the crew and passengers depends on a pilot's skills and control. All right? 
So it says, read the newspaper. We read it. Then check three true statements. We need to check three of them. Now I'm gonna read this. The, I'm gonna read everything, and then you tell me which ones are true. Number one: not all aspects of being a pilot's job are interesting. Two: the flight dispatcher's main job is to help fly the plane. Yes. Three: it's not the pilot's job to check the mechanical problems on the plane. Four: one of the worst things for the pilot is the lack of a space. Five, once the plane is in the air, the co-pilot has nothing to do. And number six, the pilot is responsible for everybody's on board or everybody's we life on board. To. So which ones do you think are yeah. true, guys? Let's help Adri here. Number one. Number, number one, one is true? Number, number one is the first. Number one. Aha. Number two. Number three. Two. Number three. Two. Number three. No, two. Four and six. number one, two, and six. All right, Margo. Elizabeth, for you, Elizabeth, let's see. So we have number one. Another option would be is it true that the flight dispatcher main job is to help fly the plane? Is that true? Yes, number two. Yes, this is it's true. Yes, this is true. Are you sure that? Well, okay, let's check it. Okay. What about number three? Is not the pilot's job to check the mechanical problem on the plane. I am kidding. Aquí está Dani. No. No, that's not true? No. no. It's not okay, true. number four. One of the worst things for the pilot is the lack of a space in the cockpit. Is that true or not? No. No, no. it's true, no. true, true. It is true. It true. is true because it says the space is very cramped. All right, okay, what about the, uh, so that's okay then? And number six. Uh -huh. Four and six. So I, four and six. so one of, we only need to check three. So what do we do? We have yeah. four and not correct. And six. The number two is incorrect. Ah, let's check number two is incorrect. Okay, let's check it right now then. Yes, ma'am. All right, there you go, Adri. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so it's one, four, and six. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. Anybody else that needs help in anything else, guys? Yes. Um. Okay. And the exercise five point five, maybe. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna go look for it while you make sure. Let me see. Did you find it, Jenny? Yes, the five point five number two, number two. Five point five number two. Yes, would be the most curious about the thing. Okay, just let me, get, I'm scramble. let me get it first. Okay, I'm, I'm, my internet's a little slow today. Mm -hmm. Just give me a second. It's thinking. Okay, 5.5. Will be the most curious about the things I mm -hmm. and this camera. The most curious, mm -hmm. the most curious thing I could be. Mm -hmm. I could be about the. Uh huh. Can anybody help, uh, Jenny, please? Can anybody else help? How would be number two? I think. Uh huh. What would be the choices, guys? Rocio or Jose Ramos or Norma or Elmer or 
Selina, how can, how can uh, be number two? En, en esa yo tuve problemas, pero... Uh, ¿Cómo empezaríamos esa oración entonces? ¿Con qué? One thing I would be... One thing or that thing? I could, teacher. Last curious thing. I go try and find another thing. Last curious thing about. I think could be the most curious about. So I begin with what, Jose Ramos? I'm sorry. I think would be the most curious I, about. I sing. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the most curious about would be like that, Jose. Um, Is that right? It's not correct. It's not correct? Okay, so how would it be then? I'd After I think would be the most curious about. Uh, maybe it's the most curious thing about me is meeting people. Where is me on the choices? Teacher. <laughs> uh huh. I have. The thing, uh -huh. I, the thing I uh -huh. will be. Excellent. I would be, I would be uh -huh. the most curious about. Like that? Would be. Walter? The thing I would be, I would the, be most the most curious, curious about. about. That's okay. okay. Okay, let's check it. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Walter. Okay. All right. So, Thank guys, you. the thing. Yes, I'm finished. Okay. Teacher, repeat, please. Yes. It, it has to say mm -hmm. the thing I would be. I would be the most curious about. Curious about. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's a noun right. phrase acting as a subject. The I think thing, I would be, verdad? The I could thing, be, yeah. I the would thing be I the would most. be, yes, I would be the most curious about. Okay. The, in the number one, uh, please help me. Yes. One thing I would be excited by yes. is trying local food. That's right. Yes. Trying local food. Uh -huh, let's check it. Oops. <laughs> the local food. Ah, uh, the local food. Uh, the local food. Trying the local food, yeah. The food, the local food. All right, yeah, it's trying the local food. I was omitting local, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about the food. <laughs> All right. And do you have any problems with number three or that's okay? No, no please help me. Okay, that's okay. All right. Uh-huh. Guys, let's do it together. Okay. Something? Something I would be. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. anxious, anxious about anxious about, anxious about, about is this. let's try it <laughs> the capital letter something I would be anxious about anxious about is Uh -huh. Something I would be. What am I writing wrong? 
Capital, capital letter. Capital letter? Yes. But I had it yes. with a capital letter. Let's try it. One space. Something with. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> Yes, Creo que hay un espacio de más. Yes, ah. Hay un espacio de más antes de I. Something I would be I could be anxious. Anxious about this. Anxious about this. Vamos ahora. Ahí está. Yeah. Yeah. Tenemos, tenía un espacio ah, de más. Ajá. Teacher, puede yes. poner la, la primera desde el inicio para, para ver cómo empieza, porfa, que no la, no la agarré. Así empieza. Así empieza. Así empieza. It's trying the local food. Ah, ok. Right. Ok, guys. Ok. Very good. Okay, guys, so I think this is it. We're finished pretty much. Uh, yeah. Por favor, llene su... Um... Vea la de, la de abajo, teacher, que me haga el favor. ¿Qué pasó, Noé? Noé, Noé. My dear teacher. Hola. Esa hojita la llenamos, la escaneamos, la firmamos y toda la cosa y se la mandamos siempre a ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí, a los compañeros de inglés corporativo. Uh -huh. sí, sí, estaba viendo también que están pidiendo las planillas del seguro social a la persona encargada de las empresas. Ajá. No sé cuál es el, cuál es el match que, que van a hacer entonces. Sí, por un lado, siempre la van a pedir porque ellas le están poniendo que sea mañana. Ahora Ajá. sí... Eh, si es mañana, por ejemplo, la persona esta no va, no va a llegar mañana. Uy, le oigo cortado. Claro. No, no, no eh, llega mañana, entonces eh. es, no sé si, porque allí dice fecha última 3 de, de, de abril, vea, pero sí, sí. sí está la planilla, porque yo sé que se pagó, pero no. Claro. No. Dice, Elmer, a... para serle sincera, yo de realmente de todo ese proceso ignoro. ¿Verdad? Entonces no le podría dar una respuesta porque no sé, ¿verdad? Ahí lo único que yo podría decirle es comuníquese con mañana Jonathan. Con, los, con Jonathan, ¿verdad? Con Para que chicos. le ayude ahí con los chicos. Ajá, porque mm. si realmente ahí sí ya no le puedo dar yo la información porque no llevo yo esos procesos. No, pero en WhatsApp está el mensaje de ella, donde ¿cuál es lo que están solicitando a raíz del CONAVID? Sí, lo que pasa es que están haciendo por un lado, perdón, están haciendo por un lado ese, esa comunicación que, que es por el COVID y están, sí. así, están solicitando por otro lado las planillas del, del Seguro Social de enero. Uh -huh. Sí, Casi lo siempre mismo. lo mismo, mejor aquí de dejar los papeles. Ajá. Bueno, Elmer, yo, bueno, para todo, ¿verdad? La mejor eh, cuestión acá, pregúntele mejor mañana. Oye, please. Para que ellos le ayuden okay. mejor. Okay. Oye. Ok, guys, so I have to Thank go. Thank you. Thank you Thank for being you. with us. Miren for que pasamos everything. el COVID aquí, 19 en este preavanzado uno. Qué tremendo. Pero bueno, hemos estado un poquito ocupados con esto, ¿verdad? Yo sé que igual sus trabajos y todo siguen. Así es que agradecerles nuevamente por estar conmigo, por estar con nosotros. Y muchas gracias por su paciencia, ¿verdad? Y espero que hayan aprendido un poquito, ¿verdad? Y espero Thank verlos you. en el siguiente módulo. Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Traten de terminar, por favor. Bueno, tienen que terminar. Sí. Es que a ponerse manos a la obra. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank Have a good night. Bye. 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 B